This is Independent Practice 5.1. Hopefully you've had a chance to try number one through eight, and let's see how you did. Number one, three miles below sea level. When you see the word below, it's going to be minus and minus three. And it always says, what is the zero in these? Well, zero would be nothing above sea level and nothing below z sea level. Zero would be the sea level. Okay? Earning $45. Earning is a plus 45. And the zero equals uh, gaining nothing or spending nothing. It is, uh, zero is nothing. Okay, number three. Moving back five spaces on a game board. Moving back, which is a negative thing. You don't want to move back, usually. So it would be a negative five. The zero represents... Um, that you didn't move back or you didn't move forward. Okay. Now let's graph some of these numbers. I'm going to graph negative 5. Uh, the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to put a negative 5 somewhere. How about I put it right here? And then I can go negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And if I'm going this way, I'm getting less. So negative 6, negative 7. So I graph negative 5. It's right there. All right, number five. Uh, two, negative three, zero, one. I have a zero here, so I'm going to put a zero right in the middle. Then I'm going to put these zero, one, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, so I start with two. Positive two goes there. Negative three goes there. Zero is there. And one is there. Graphing, not too bad, hopefully, for you. All right, here's a uh, data set. Plus 4, negative 1, negative 2, 0. Shows the change in the number of state representatives for four states after the last census. We want to graph this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smallest amount, which is this negative 2. I'm going to put it right here. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know that... Uh, I'm going to start from here, plus 4. So that one's going to go here, and negative 1 goes right here, negative 2 goes right here, and 0 right there. Let's go down to number 7. We're going to use the table that shows the record of low temperatures for several states. Okay, I'm going to find the lowest temperature. Negative 34 is my lowest. So put negative 34 there. And then I'm just going to get a little warmer. Negative 33, negative 32, negative 31, negative 30, negative 29, negative 28, negative 27, and negative 26. And if I keep going, I will eventually get to zero and then back into the positive numbers. But let's see. Let's start with this one right here. Negative 27, right there. Then we go to this one negative 29, right there, negative 32, just did that one, and then negative 34, we started with that one, and negative 30, okay, so I just graphed all those points on that graph, on a number line, all right, eight, it's the last one, <clears throat> the table shows the number of points uh, earned for each auction, or each action, in a video game. While playing the video game, Kevin fell in water, jumped over a rock, touched a cactus, climbed him out, graphed the number of points he earned for each of his actions. Okay, so let's graph uh, Kevin fell in water. So Kevin fell in water, that's going to be a negative 10. Then he jumped over a rock, jumped over a rock, that's going to be a positive 5. Touched a cactus, where's cactus? Right here. And climbed a mountain. Okay, so the lowest one is negative 15, and these are all by 5s, so I'm going to go negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5, 10, 15. Okay, so let's fall, fell in the water is a negative 10, that one's here, climb mountain is a positive 10, uh, jump over rock is a positive 5, and touch cactus negative 15. There you go. Just graphed them. Okay.
So hopefully you're able to do this uh, fairly well in terms of uh, finding what a number means and then graphing it on a number line. Uh, go ahead and do extra practice page 351 numbers 15 through 23.